Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Philip, our group will present to you about our slide. Before that, I will introduce to you to our team. That is me, Muhammad Shafiq bin Muhammad Saimi, Amirul, Akmal and Aizat. After that, this is the content of this slide. First, we have introduction, theory and concept, methodology, pump specification and pipe science selection, discussion and lastly, the conclusion. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today, I want to present about interaction. Interaction, the interaction for this segment is piping system others circulatory lifeline of building and industry, transporting vital fluid like water, oil and gas through a network of interconnected pipes, waves and fittings. They ensure influencing delivery, repair, and maintain safety with different types serving diverse purpose from plumbing our home to powering industrial process and fighting fire. Understanding this system from material selection to function is a key for their smooth operation and efficient flow of labor across various sectors. Next, I would like to I would like to present about theory. Theory we break it to a three part. First is hydraulic theory. For the hydraulic theory, I have a three point. Firstly, is friction loss. Friction loss is understanding how pipe diameter, length, and material effect friction resistance to flow is crucial for accurate heat calculation and pump selection. Second is Bernoulli equation. Relating pressure, velocity, and evaluation change in the system. It's help analysis energy flow and predict pressure drop. Thirdly is continuity equation. Ensuring mass conversion is state that the mass flow rate at any point in closed system remain constant. Next is a material selection. For the material selection, we also have a three point. Firstly, material. Firstly, fluid compatibility. Material may resist corrosion, erosion, and chemical reaction with the transported fluid. Second is razor plating. Pipes and fittings must withstand the system operation pressure without risk of failure. That is cost and ease of installation. The refer material like steel, plastic, and concrete have varying cost and installation requirement. For the last theory, is stress and vibration analysis theory. Uh, in this point, we have also three points. Structural integrity. Firstly, is structural integrity. Analysis stress from fragile temperature and external load into pipe and component and withstand them without deformation or fragile. Second, is fatigue prevention. Verification can cause fatigue over time, leading the crack and leak. Theory help predict and mitigate verification, protecting the system from long term damage. And lastly, is safe operation. Ensuring equipment and handle operation, stress and verification, minimize risk of manufacturing and accident. That's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Shafiq bin Muhammad Saimi. My metric number is B09-2210-298. Today, I want to explain about methodology. Piping system, the silent heroes of fluid transport, require a meticulously planned and executed approach to ensure their functionality, safety, and cost effectiveness. This involves three key stages that is design, construction, and simulation. For design, piping design dance between fluid properties, pressure drops, and material choices, waving a network of pipes and pumps from conceptualizing the system's purpose to stress analysis and precise valve placement is a meticulous choreography ensuring efficient, safe and reliable flow that keeps industry and home humming. For construction, from sourcing part to welding seam 
and testing for leads. Piping construction was through fabrication, installation, and rigorous test, rigorous test, ensuring a seamless flow of fluid in a system meticulous built to last. For simulation, simulation software place the soothsayer for piping system, predicting flows, pressure, and stress, optimizing design, and preventing headache before the first pipe is laid, ensuring smooth, efficient, and trouble free flow, free flow. That's all for me. Thank you. So, Assalamualaikum uh, and hello. My name is Muhammad Makim bin Zainal Bidin, P0922210261. Uh, so, uh, I will present uh, for my part, which is pump specification and pipe selection. Uh, so, pump specifications and pipe size selections are determined through two methods, namely through theoretical calculation and simulation. So, uh, from the equation, we already identified that uh, we already point out some points uh, for the equation. And first, we calculate the volumetric flow rate, then we choose the velocity limit mentioned that 3 meter per second as the maximum velocity to avoid noise and erosion. Then we calculate the pipe cross sectional area using formula H equal to F uh, L over D V uh, square over 2 G. Lastly, we select that we select the pipe diameter based on the calculated area. We choose a commercially available pipe size that provides a slightly larger area to avoid exceeding the desired velocity. Consider standard pipe size and compatibility with available fittings and fans. So from the calculation, uh, the total length of pipe that we get is 75 meter. And from the chart of uh, water viscosity to temperature chart, uh, which is the first temperature is 160 Celsius and second temperature uh, and from 160 to uh, from 160 to 30 degree, uh, we get the viscosity for 160 Celsius is 0.1736. While the 30 degree is 0 0.7972. So and then we get the value is 0 0.6245. So after we calculate, we get the diameter of the pipe is 9.57 mm. And then we get the pipe. Uh, sorry, the pump power, which is 817.5 kilowatt. My name is Muhammad Aiza Irwan, and I will be presenting the pump specifications and pump size selection. So, pump specifications and pipe size selection are determined through two methods, namely through theory, theoretical calculation and simulation. Right, as you can see in the table, for fluid data, for zone 1, the fluid name, uh, the fluid used is water uh, with the chemical formula H2O. Okay, the temperature used is 30 degrees Celsius. The pressure is set to zero. And the density of water is 998 kilogram meter cube. Right. So now for the centistokes, uh, centi it is uh, on 1.0 and for centipoise, it is 1.0020. For vapor pressure bar, it is set at 0 0.024 and all the, the fluid is in the state of liquid. Next, for the pump data, for pump ID, it is for 
where and it is designated with the name P4. And the pump name is just labeled with pump with the speed of zero RPM. The preference uh, will be from meter cube per second is zero. And the prefer preference up to meter cube per second is also zero. Same goes with flow in or out meter in meter cubic per second and velocity meter per second. Next, the suction, suction pressure, uh, which is in bar uh, times with uh, G is zero. Discharge pressure is also zero. Uh, then pump head is also zero with pump MPS HR, uh, which is the absolute is zero. Now moving on to pump pump MPSH A MDH absolute, which lies at the value of 10.108. Then the pump efficiency efficiency percentage is not disclosed or not known. And finally, the pump power kilowatts is at 817.5 kilowatts. Now, uh, as we can see in the diagram next to it, next to the tables, is the flow chart that is given. So for discussion, uh, the ideal method for designing pipelines by piping designer. So the first initial planning. Begin with uh, through understanding of project requirement, specification and concern before designing the pipeline. Second, uh, material selection. Choose uh, appropriate materials for the pipeline based on the concrete substance, operating conditions and regulatory standard. Third, testing and commissioning. Develop a plan for pipeline testing and commissioning to verify its functionality and safety before it becomes operational. Constructability, design the pipeline with constructability in mind, considering factors like ease of installation, accessibility and cost effectiveness. So that's all from me. Thank you. For the conclusion, in conclusion, a well-designed piping system Coupled with an efficient pump is crucial for the smooth operation of various industrial process. Proper sizing, material selection and layout contribute to optimal fleet transport, minimizing energy consumption and maintenance costs. Regular monitoring and maintenance ensure the longevity and reliability, making an integration of a robust piping system and pump in, in this Pensable for seamless industrial operation. That's all from me. Thank you.